Okay, hi Randy, how are you doing today? Perfecto. I see that you've uh, got four years experience here at Tall Owners Trailer, Truck and Trailer Warehouse and Repair in Rock Island. Can you tell me a little bit about what you did there? What I did was stock parts, label parts, and then enter them into the computer and then ship them out when they were ready to be shipped. Okay. And uh, the part of the receiving function, when you did the receiving, give me some details about how you received parts. What we did was like the, the company we get the parts from would be shipped to our company and we count them and then write on a piece of paper and then put them into the computer. If like one part short, then we would fix up on the paper and work. Okay, so if there's one part short, you just mark the paperwork and put one part less in the computer. Right. And, um, Okay, that's it's good. That's the right thing to do. And if they sent you too many parts? We would ship a piece of it back and then make sure we're equal. Okay. And then contact and then contact the company by phone to make sure them know they send us too many parts and we're gonna have to and we're gonna we're gonna have to send them pieces back. Okay. Good. Now tell me some details about shipping. How did you fill an order? We would do is like pick out the parts, count them. Do the paperwork, put them in a secure plastic bag, and then stick it onto the part and put it into the crate or a pallet and send it out. Okay. And uh, you also did some cycle counting of parts and inventory. Can you give me some details of how you did that? I would do like go to each part, count them once a week, and see if they have the same number, see if they're equal or not, or, or way over equal. If like, they're way over, then we just send some parts back or or and then or, and, or for short pieces then fix up on the computer. Or if they're equal, they're all good to go. Okay, that's great. And then um, in December 2010, um, you left the company and you started college in January as a full-time student for two years. Can you tell me a little bit about your time as a student? Well, my time as a student at Lincoln College was that I really enjoyed the campus, nice size, and all, all the teachers I've had over the, for two years, I mean three, actually three years, I read, were really nice. So they, were, they were able to work with me one-on-one -on -one to make sure I get all my credits done and then, get ready for, and then get ready to graduate with my associate's degree. That's great. Did you get your associate's degree? <coughs> yep. That's great. Now I see here too you've done some volunteer work at both at the Buffalo Bill Museum and uh, the Bobby Schilling campaign in uh, 2012. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the kind of work you did at the museum? What I did was like the general office work, like, like it and cycle books, like put the books in the computer and then figure out and then put stickers on the parts that were donated or what was not donated, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yes. And then what else I did was like that was that's why I did. Okay, so you basically it was it was a lot of like receiving and cataloging. Yep. Uh, and for Bobby Schilling, uh, general office work, information, copyright, vaccine, filing paperwork, and then worked on his re-election campaign. You know, being part of the uh, okay. Bobby Schilling parade. That's great. On the fourth, that's the Fourth of July parade committee you worked on, right? Correct. Okay. And uh, I still do it. I still do it. I'm a big. I still do it. I still do it today. It says here that also that you were uh, even on the student senate when you were in the college. That you were secretary of the student senate in Lincoln College. That was correct. Well, that's quite an accomplishment. You're a very ambitious young man. <coughs> yep. Uh, tell me something about what you did as a secretary on the student senate. What I did was like I would get the paper. I would get my agendas done. Attendance done. Have a folder and my folder ready, then that kind of thing. And okay. being like executive officer, like being executive meetings, that kind of thing. Okay. And if, if we decide that uh, we're ready to hire you, when would you be able to start work? So the third week of September. The second or third week of September. Second or third week of September, you'd be able to start work with us. Okay, that'd be great. And. Uh, do you have any questions of me? Yes. Who would be my supervisor and what would my hours be? Well, I would be your supervisor and we're hiring for first shift and second shift. 
right now. And um, uh, can you work both those shifts? I can try. I mean, I can. I mean, you're available. If we need a second shift person. Yeah. Instead of a first shift person. Usually, sometimes it's easier to get on the second shift, and then over time, you transfer to first shift. And um, most, most of the people like first shift the best. But sometimes we have openings on first shift, so uh, I'm not sure yet. Right now, we have some openings on both. Um, we have most of our receiving and shipping activity on first shift. We have most of our inventory and stock, rooming, stock room and um, issuing parts to the floor on second shift. So there's a few positions that I can consider you for. Um, and I'd like to take some time to think about that. Um, and we have a few more interviews to do with other people as well before we make some decisions. So it would take us a couple of weeks uh, to get through this process and be back in touch with you. Uh, to let you know more. Now, if you need to come in for another interview, is that okay? Sure. Okay, that's great. Um, any other questions of me? No, that's it. All right. Uh, this looks great. And um, it's great to meet you. You have a good day. Yeah. And we'll talk uh, again soon, I'm sure.